Hi, this is Adolfo from Finn Leather Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you how most companies put the dye on their leather. In the first example over here, we have how they just put the dye on the top. So these two lines represent the piece of leather. They just dye it from the top. That's where they put the color. How would it look like? Well, it would look like something like this. Uh, you go ahead and have, um, you know, the very top will have black, yet on the bottom will be gray. You know, so therefore, any scratch, you're gonna be able to go ahead and see that green right through. Number two, they're a little tricky. They go ahead and put the dye on the top, flip it around, and then swipe the, the dye on the bottom. They try to make it to say that it's dyed through, but it's not. How would that look like? Well, it would look like uh, this. Let me focus here. As you can see, the top black, the bottom black, yet in the middle it's gray. What happens there? Well, if you have a cut, you're gonna be able to see that gray spot right there. And that's what you wanna avoid. Uh, swimming back, there we go. So the third way and the best way is when they go ahead and not only do they dye the top, but they go ahead and penetrate all the way to the bottom. It's completely dyed through. How would that look like? Well, here's an example. It's dyed from the top all the way through down to the bottom. I went ahead and purposely uh, scratched the top and uh, I'm gonna pretend that my saliva is a conditioner and I'm gonna go ahead and Put some there, and this is what happens. It penetrates all the way in, and it gives it that sort of almost a finished look. That cannot happen with this one because you will see the gray, and that will not happen with this one because obviously you can see the gray right there. All right, once again, this was Adolfo from Thin Leather Design. Thank you very much.